Hey everybody, this is Vinny with ExcelDistanceCalculators.com, home of some of the most versatile Excel tools out there. Uh, as a lot of you have bought or are using my software products, you know that all of our products are, are built in Excel and they usually have a uh, Google Maps API component. So we need Google Maps API to be able to, um, to use the software. So what I'm gonna go over is how we set up uh, Google Maps API, uh, what is required, what is needed, and uh, and so forth. Uh, the first thing you're going to do to set that up, you're, you're going to go to console.cloud.google.com. So console.cloud.google.com. Once you go there, it'll prompt you to um, uh, enter your uh, your Google account. So if you have a Gmail account or some type of organizational account that uses uh, uses Google Gmail, if not, you can set one up. It's free and easy. And then I'm gonna log in. And um, once I log in, it will get me to the console to the Google Maps console. Might look a little bit different in your case because I've already got a few. Uh, accounts and projects set up but the first thing that you want to do is you want to set up a new project and we're going to call this project distance uh, and then i'll go ahead and click on create the project uh, it'll take a second for google to create this project project distance i will go to that specific uh, project that i just created and the next part of this is I want to set up the APIs. Uh, I want to enable the APIs that are needed to use my tools. So depending on the tool that you've purchased or used, um, you know, there can be different requirements, different APIs. In this video, I'll cover all of them. So uh, you'll need about four or five APIs to run practically any of my tools. Um, that way uh, you should be covered. Uh, so I'll go to APIs and services and library. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is, which will calculate the distances, is the Routes API. So I'll click on that, Routes API. Uh, I'll click on Enable. If the Routes API has been, um, has been already enabled, it will say Manage. In this case, I haven't enabled it, so I will um, get this API enabled. Now, Routes API is a relatively new API um, that um, you know that has replaced the directions APIs. For some of you that have used directions API in the past, Google did away with that. So pretty much all the directions, the driving directions calculations are done through the routes API. Because we don't have an API key, uh, Google automatically generated an API key for me. Um, and uh, I can copy this or uh, and then paste this into the tool or I can go back and do that later. Um, it'll prompt me to protect my API key and I'll have a different video on how to do that. But for now, I will say maybe later. Uh, once we do that, um, I'm going to uh, go again, APIs and services library. Uh, the other one we need is geocoding API. Uh, this API is for our geocoding needs. I'll click enable on this one. There is one more API that we use in our products, um, which is the places API. Now, uh, again, the places API is a brand new API. It'll say new in here. Um, and I will enable this. For a lot of my clients who bought the air quality API, uh, we can go and uh, enable. So again, APIs and services library. Uh, I'm gonna go and enable the air quality API. You don't need this if you're just got the driving distance uh, uh, tool, but if you uh, have my air quality tool, uh, then you'll need this API enabled. And I believe now I've enabled all the different APIs that are needed for uh, to run pretty much any of the tools. So again, I can go to the three lines, APIs and services, and I'll go to enabled APIs and services. And here it'll show me 
um, everything that I have that uh, I just set up. Uh, Google automatically adds a lot of uh, these APIs. You're welcome to remove them. But again, you will need the air quality API, the geocoding API, places and routes. Um, the other thing you got to keep in mind is that um, you will need to set up a billing account with Google. Uh, the way that Google APIs is set up is, especially in this new, uh, new arrangement that they did, uh, this new change, which they did as of March 1, 2025, is that you get 10,000 free calculations every month. And after that, Google charges $5 per 1,000. So keep that in mind. You can view really any time your usage by going to enabled APIs and services, and you can go back 30 days and it'll tell you what uh, the amount of calculations that you did. You can also go at any time. You can go to billing and uh, you'll be able to see uh, there what you, you know, uh, the charges for the month. Again, you should be okay. If you do less than 10,000 calculations, Google will not charge you anything. There's not a per month charge. Uh, it is just uh, once you go over that 10,000 that Google will charge you $5 per thousand. And that's a pretty good deal, especially if you're doing, you know, low volume data. Um, once we do that, again, I can go, uh, I can go and take my credentials. So again, three black lines, APIs and services credentials. And um, I have my... Uh, API key here. I will copy this and then I can go and paste that into my uh, spreadsheet. So into my tool. So if I have the address calculation tool, for example, uh, all I got to do is go to settings and, uh, and then I can paste my API key right in there. And that will allow me to uh, make the calculations. In this case, I can go in here and it'll allow me to make the calculations. So it really should be as simple as that. Um, uh, looks like uh, there is an issue here. Let me see if we can fix that. Probably it's this restriction that I have in here. I'm just gonna remove the restriction, click on save. Uh, that should allow me to, uh, to make those calculations. And really it should be as simple as that. Thank you for watching this and uh, till next time.